We're looking, we're looking for a new kitchen faucet. Ours is leaking like a sieve. And so we need to find a new kitchen faucet. One just like one of these. Yeah, this is the second time that we've had to um, change it, actually. <laughs> I yeah. guess you need a new one every year. <laughs> Yeah, they don't seem to last very long, but they're not very expensive either. So like these ones that we're looking at right here, like this one right here is only, it's only about $5. This one's a little bit more expensive. Something just like that, Joe's. That's what we're looking for. Which one you want? So guys, today's video is how to change a faucet in Indonesia. First thing. Go pick one out. But Jules picked out a beautiful faucet. We decided to go with the more expensive one. So hopefully maybe we won't have to just replace it again next year. But uh, yeah, it's supposed to be stronger, they said. It costs like $9 for the faucet. It's $123,000? Yeah. Yeah, $123,000. So maybe around $9 or so. Um, but yeah, so now we're gonna go home and uh, change out the faucet. That ought to be fun. All right, so this is the faucet that we got. Let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. All right, let's pop it open. See what we got here. Cool. Regular old faucet. Quarter turn, half turn. Yep, quarter turn, open, close. It works. It's got this thing, I think it's like a, pull it, push it, nope, doesn't do anything. Hmm. Anyway, this is the faucet. We gotta change out this one right here. It's also just like a quarter turn. But uh, yeah, the valve's gone bad in it. It leaks really bad. And so we put this plastic here and then screwed this back on there to seal it up so that it won't leak anymore. So we gotta go ahead and replace that. So what you gotta be careful about is this fitting right here that comes out of the wall, it's just plastic PVC. And so you don't wanna strip those threads out there. And uh, anyway, you gotta be careful with that. Make sure that they line up properly. Like when I, when I replaced this one, I had to put in a spacer here, like a rubber spacer, because otherwise it was like crooked. It's like at an angle like this when it was tight and not leaking anymore. And so I did that, put the white tape on it. But the first thing we have to do before we do that is go turn the water off outside. We need to go out to the, uh, the main water valve here. This is where our water meter is. Let me get out of the light here. All right, so this is our water meter right here and the pipes. And so if you're here, right, one thing that I've learned by experience is you want to be more gentle with things in Indonesia than you might be with things in America, like valves, switches, knobs, things like that. Be more gentle with it because sometimes things break on accident. So we gotta just turn this off. All right. Now, Jules. Yeah. We'll go change the faucet you broke it hopefully the water is off all the way <laughs> okay let's open this guy up here make sure the water's off off all right let's try it all right cut that up yeah like i was saying right it's just plastic in there so you want to be careful not to strip the threads at all all right, now we need to put some of this tape on here so that it uh, hopefully won't leak. We'll go ahead and use quite a bit because in my experience uh, doing the last one, it leaked quite a bit. Ah, upside down. Great. All right. Hmm. That's not very helpful, is it? All right, let's take the spacer off. Try it again. 
Oh, it's way upside down now. That is not very good at all. All right, so I gotta figure out a way to fix that so it's not upside down. That's a pain. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so we either made it worse or better. We're gonna find out here together. All right, let's screw it in and see where it stops. Oh, look at that. That's pretty snug. Ha, my idea worked. All right, let's go turn the water on. I'll leave you guys there to like watch and make sure everything goes okay. But I think if it sprays water everywhere, I don't want it to get in your eyes. So let's go turn it on together. Okay. See if it's leaking. Hmm. It's dry. Oh, it's dry. How did you have to cut? Fixed. What's that? What was it that you had to cut? Well, let's see. On here, right? Like this is the old, mm -hmm. the old faucet. Yeah. This part right here was too long. So it wouldn't screw in, like it would screw in all the way, but once it stopped screwing in all the way, it was upside down. So I cut it shorter so, so that it would less. it would stop on this flat part. Mm. And it would stop and point up. Wow, good job. So I cut off that much. Three, to, four rings. Yep. Wow, you're so talented. Yeah. Good job, thank you so much. Now you're we can welcome. wash dishes. Yes, <laughs> because we have all those dishes right there. <laughs> well, it's just because it was broken. I know, but it's so embarrassing to see all our dirty dishes. Will you marry me? I already have one, thank you. But this is pretty cool. It's Doesn't too small. Fit, though. fit on my pinky. Hmm. Not good. <gasps> is it stuck? It's stuck. Oh no, what'd you do to me? <laughs> Alright guys, we fixed that thing. That's good. Done. But we do have one other thing that we need to do today. So hang on just a second, I'm gonna clean this up and then we'll do our other thing. All right guys, we got it all cleaned up and now it's time for the second event of the <laughs> evening. Jules, what's our second event? I get to open a present. It was so fun earlier this afternoon, well this evening, a subscriber came by the house and she gave this to me and so now I get to open it. Because Sweet. traditionally, right, Ferron, we don't open presents in front of a person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good cultural insight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because normally in America, right, we open the present in front of the person who gives it to us so they can see our reaction and how happy we are to get it. But here in Indonesia, you keep it unopened and then you open it privately where they cannot see you. Here we go. Wow. wow, this is from Princess Cruz because the lady that gave it to me, her name is Nomita. So thank you so much, Nomita. And she works, she's Indonesian, but she works for the Princess Cruz out of San Francisco. So this is way cool. What is it? It's like a wallet, I think. Oh, there's stuff inside. There's a pin, Princess Cruz pin. Maybe this is like a wallet, I guess. Yeah. Put your money and stuff. There's this little pouch. Discover you. It's got stuff in it. Hmm. Princess Cruise. What's that for? I'm cool. Not sure. What is that? Maybe it's for your ID tag. Oh, wow. Or your room key, maybe. You can put it on here. Oh, so this is from the ship. Yeah. Oh. Then you clip it on your belt and it won't fall off. Oh, look at that. Cool keychain. Maybe the passengers received this on the ship or something. Oh, that could be, huh? It's so fun. I've never been on a Princess Cruise liner. <laughs> Maybe one day. <laughs> Maybe. Thank you so much, Nomita. That was so thoughtful of you, and I'm really excited to receive it. So thank you very much. Thank you so much for watching. That is how I fixed the faucet here in Indonesia. Not too complicated. Uh, just remember that when you turn the valve, like the main valve out there, to be careful because you don't know the condition of the pipe. And if you broke your pipe off in the ground, that would be really bad. Um, and then second, yes, maybe you just have to do some adaptation to make it fit the way it's supposed to. 
That was my experience anyway. Guys, so thank you so much for watching, and until next time. Hope you guys have a great day, and keep smiling.